Hello there. Hope you are doing well. So here we have a, another question from the same passage. And the directions for question is what? Answer the following question based on the information provided. So we have uh, already gone through the text and we understood that what this text is all about. And uh, uh, let's move to the question and try to understand um, the question with uh, the choices given here. So the question given here is called as a what can be inferred about the purpose of the author writing this passage. So if you say that um, the question asks you about the author's purpose, isn't it? Author's purpose in writing the passage. It wants uh, the readers to determine what the author aims, what the author aims to convey or accomplish through the passes, isn't it? Let's look at the each option and try to find out the appropriate option. So the first one stated to argue that psychosis and religious experiences are identical. Now the author is trying to prove that, right? Um, a mental health condition and religious experiences are the same. Right or not? That's what the option tries to take, point out. The option suggests that the author is trying to prove that psychosis, a mental health condition, and religious experiences are identical or are the same. We'll check that. So option two stated to explore the similarities and differences between psychosis and religious epiphanies. Right. Now, this option suggests that the author is examining both the um, both the similarities and the differences between epi uh, psychosis and religious, ex um, you can say that uh, sudden religious awakenings, right? Or epiphanies, epiphanies that indicates nothing but religious, religious awakening, right? Awakenings. So, uh, which is known as epiphanies. Okay. So option three stated to promote the idea that all sudden self transformations are positive. So uh, this option suggests that the author is arguing that all sudden changes in a person, all sudden changes in a person like religious conversion, or you can say that mental shift, mental shifts, right, are beneficial. Okay. Now look at the four. It said, to provide a detailed history of psychosis and religious epiphanies. So, or means the author is giving a historical account of psychosis and religious experiences. So, these are the four different choices which uh, indicate uh, some kind of a means uh, contradiction, some kind of a, um, you know, you can say that. Uh, a misleading information, but out of them, one is indicating the correct choice. Let's look at the first one. So the first one, like we point out, the author doesn't argue that psychosis and religious experiences are same, right, or identical. Instead, you can say that the, uh, the passage focuses on what, how they can similar, right, but are not the same, right? how they can similar but are not the same, right? So, and if you look at the option four, it said to provide a detailed history of psychosis and religious epiphanies. So, the passage does not aim to give a detailed history, right? Detailed history or psychosis, uh, a detailed history of psychosis and religious epiphanies. Instead, it focuses on what? Examining. Examining what? Examining the overlaps. Overlaps. Overlaps what? Overlaps and differences between the two. So hence you can find out option 1 and 4 are incorrect. Option 3 which is stated to promote the idea that all sudden trans transformation are positive. Now the author doesn't suggest that all sudden self transformations are positive. Right. In fact, the passage acknowledges that what not all transformation, not all transformations lead to lead to um, positive lead to positive 
outcomes, positive outcomes. Some may result in mental dysfunction, isn't it? Hence, we can also consider option three is eliminated. Now, if you observe the second option, what does it say? To explore the similarities and difference between psychosis and religious epiphanies, right? Now, this makes the correct answer because the passage is written to explore the similarities and difference between the uh, psychosis and religious epiphanies uh, as the author discusses how these experiences, right? How these experiences Exp uh, uh, can have overlapping feature, overlapping features such as delusions and hallucination. So delusion and hallucination. So when we talk about delusion and hallucination, it's indicating about something that you can um, you can find out uh, here in the first, second and third paragraph where it is stated delusions and hallucinations and a defining feature, right? And it's notable that the delusion or false belief of grandiosity, persecution and impending catastrophe are alluded in uh, all the aforementioned religious quotes as the hallucinatory vision, right? So the gray area of overlap is what is especially striking when we focus on hallucination, right? that others can't see or hear, but that you can hear. Okay, so in that case, if you say, means uh, the option two stated to explore the similarity and difference between psychosis and religious epiphanies, right, uh, such as delusions and hallucination, but doesn't claim they are the same. The purpose is to, uh, you can say that, uh, analyze, analyze, analyze what? Analyze these overlaps and so analyze these overlaps and you can say distinctions right distinctions right so hence we can point out option two is the most and the best appropriate choice for the question that we talk about authors purpose of writing or author's aim of writing this passage. Hence, the answer should be option two. Hope you understood. That's all. Thank you.